Dear colleagues, in this surgery, capsulorexis is small. When the capsulorexis is small, there is a risk of capsular phimosis. So, we should enlarge the rexis just before nucleus management or after implanting the intraocular lens. Let us watch the full surgery. By this time, the main incision and two sideboards on either side of the main incision have been made. And now, I am going to do capsulorexis. I usually take a 26 case pen needle, incise the capsule and raise a big nice to hold capsular tag. I hold this tag and go anticlockwise and see what happens from 4 o'clock. From 4 o'clock suddenly it came towards the center and the rexis became quite small. It is about 4.5 millimeter rexis. Though it is small, I was quite confident and quite sure that I will be able to manage the nucleus. I will do in the bag phacoemulsification and the nucle nucleus will be nicely managed. So I did hydrodissection, the nucleus is mobilized and then viscoelastic substance is injected. The viscoelastic substance being used is 2% SPMC and now the tip of the FACO handpiece is introduced and I usually do direct job. I usually don't make any trench. This is direct job. Impale the nucleus and chop it. And the free nuclear fragments are emulsified and removed. This is a very brittle nucleus. Nuclear sclerosis, I think in this case, is about grade 3. Or you can say grade 3 plus. But this is a very brittle nucleus, easy to chop. Feco power used in this case is 65%. Flow rate is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. This is Oatly Cataryx 3 FACO machine. So the nucleus has been nicely managed and now the cortical cleanup has to be done. Many colleagues have expressed doubt why I use Simco cannula for cortical cleanup and their main concern is that the size of the sideboard yes the sideboard is a little larger it is about 1.5 or 1.6 millimeter and now the thing is the sideboards are about 3 clock hours that is 90 degree away from the main incision so the astigmatism that is being induced by the main incision is being neutralized to a much extent almost the astigmatism induced will be zero because the astigmatism induced by the main incision will be neutralized by the side ports and now in this case this is a hydrophobic acrylic intraocular lens it is being implanted using viscoelastic substance because I want to enlarge the I want to enlarge the rexis. So the lens has gone into the capsular bag and now I dial it like this and now I take the vitreous scissor, go through the eight o'clock sideboard, make a nick here at around ten o'clock and now I take the uterata forceps hold this capsular tag and now I go clockwise and very gently 
I enlarge the rexis. See how beautifully the rexis has been enlarged. So the rexis is of adequate size now and I will I'm happy I'm joyful because I have done a nice job. Dear colleagues, if there is any scope to correct your mistakes or correct some step which is not excellent, not up to the mark, if there is any scope to correct that, please do it. You will feel good. And now in this case I am removing the viscoelastic substance. I am a thorough remover of viscoelastic substance because I want to see a very clear cornea. I want to see normal intraocular pressure after surgery. So I flush the viscoelastic substance first with Simcoe cannula flush the capsular bag and now I am using the irrigating proof to flush the capsular bag to flush the anterior chamber to thus the most of the viscoelastic substance come out and now I am using irrigation aspiration together to remove the viscoelastic substance most of all of my patients almost 100% patients have normal intraocular pressure in my surgeries. They are very happy and I encourage you to remove viscoelastic substance thoroughly. Now the side ports are being hydrated. The side ports, the stroma on either side of these stab incisions are hydrated and these stab incisions close. Now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber the viscoelastic substance that sticks to the corneal endothelium comes out this time and whatever I have used, pilocarpine, moxifloxacin, whatever I have used, I wash it out at the end. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this video will give you a lot of tips to improve your surgical skills. I want you to do good, good surgeries to do a nice service to the mankind. Thank you very much.